This is the coolest thing ever. So a quick little update thing. It's been a couple of days since I've uploaded a video and there's uh, some pretty okay reasons for that, some pretty bad ones. Um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, apparently the Pacific Northwest, or the West in general, is on fire right now, which uh, means that I can barely see the trees outside my house. It's a legitimate concern. Uh, cars are covered in ash and uh, I can't breathe which has led to all sorts of complications. So I've been trying to work on things like inside that I can get done like in my apartment that's relatively easy instead of staying out here in the garage. And uh, I've wasted like four days on this whole dessert pigeon thing. And uh, I, I, I've run into a couple of roadblocks and I'm going to need to step away from that. I'm not even sure if it's going to happen right now because there's uh, some issues that I'm having and only I'm having so we can chalk that up to the general state of Walcom incompetence, but uh, I do have a package here. Uh, no idea what's really in it. Uh, once again, it's fairly substantial. I'm not sure if it's like one thing or like multiple things. It's just big, so surprise review. I, I actually think it's only one thing now that I look at it. It might be one box, but this might be interesting and this will give me an excuse to do a video kind of thingy, so. Yeah, now that I look at it, I think it's just one thing. So what could this be? This is going to be interesting. So this is a box from NF Strike. And uh, they asked me if I wanted to take a look at any of their tactical gear. And I did because they had this thing. Thankfully, you can't really see it all that well. But I am extremely, extremely interested in this. Because I was actually shopping for a helmet. One that I could possibly... Uh, cosplay up for whatever reasons but uh definitely needed something this is surprisingly close to what i was looking at getting already and then i get asked if i want this thing so yeah yeah i did and well that's the cool part is this helmet it is a full helmet and it is awesome it looks uh suspiciously familiar i'll put that yet it is it's kind of its own design too this is really difficult to unbox here. There we go. Yeah, milking that time. So we've got, there we are, a, uh, a whole helmet kit set up everything. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this got so much cooler. So it's going to be really difficult for me to kind of show this off at first, but uh, bear with me for a moment. So this helmet is, uh, it's a helmet. It's ABS plastic for the most looks of it and it's got a whole screw on head thing right there It's like it's your pretty standard like tactical helmet kind of thing you find on Amazon, but it has a different kind of Shielding thing at the front of it. I wanted something that would actually fit on my head with my glasses Which is kind of an issue and this one oh, It's spring loaded. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm a freaking you can be like freaking Iron Man or well actually I'd say it's more like the guy from like uh what's that game Vanquish yeah Vanquish like this is if I can just figure out really quick oh my gosh so like you press that and it springs open like I okay it's a helmet and it kind of looks like a clone trooper almost but then it does a thing. Like you press the button and you're like, oh, look at me, I'm a helmet guy. And then you're like, bam! Th that's so cool. Uh, what else did it come with? It got like a whole bunch of pads and stuff here, which is pretty neato. So like you can, I assume, put them in here where all these spots, yeah, they're all already kind of done. And it came with a, what appears to be a piece of Lexan or plastic that you're, you can put in there as well. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with the mesh. Maybe I'll dye the plastic or something like that. Yeah, there's like little sticker pads and things. I don't know where any of this stuff goes. Is there like instructions in here? So there isn't. It is called the Medieval Iron Warrior Helmet. Um, but again, it looks very much like some kind of like 
stormtrooper kind of thing. This is... I was not expecting that! That is so... Like, I'm sorry, that's like the single coolest thing. You can just, like, walk up to your friends and be like, Hey, guys, what's up? And then, oh, we're getting back into combat. Okay, put this down, and you're good to go. It's got, like, a spot up here for, like, night vision goggles and stuff like that, which is kind of crazy, or, like, a flashlight, tack light, stuff like that. There's spots all over the thing for various accessories. There's also the rails on the side here, which will take some accessories as well. There's no ear covers. I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to have to order some ear covers. I did not see ear covers on the thing. It's like, that's the only thing that's really missing, and I, I don't like getting shot in the ear by Stephens and stuff like that. Fully adjustable chin strap. This is... This is like way cooler than I thought it would be. So how do, how the heck do I put this together? There's no instructions or anything like that. I've never put together a helmet. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, did this thing go in there? Like kind of like that? Like, or do they go in the back? Or does this go at the top? This has to go at the top. Like that? Like you just kind of put this stuff in there? And like these things must go on the sides. Like, how the heck am I just going to start putting stuff in places? Because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so, we do have a cool helmet here. I do have to take a look at this. Because this says NF Strike on it. It is actually sewed in with NF Strike right there. And it is, uh, it's a battle belt. It doesn't come with any attachments or anything on it. It is just a belt. A rather huge belt. Is it big enough to fit a walrus, though? Let's actually, let's see here. Uh, no, that, that is definitely, no, it is not big enough to fit a walrus. And I'm not sure how much it costs, and this is going to be one of those things that's entirely dependent on cost, because it doesn't have any attachments in it, but it has space to add attachments to it. And otherwise, it's just one of those kind of belt thingies, but it is NF Strike branded, so good on them. So you've got... Basically, two little pocket sections on each side. Well, this is not a pocket. This is like a... I guess they're Velcro pouches? And you just add other things to them. Like, how come this is removable, but these ones aren't? And this one on the back's got... It's got like a hole at the bottom, like that. That's interesting. I, again, it doesn't fit me, so I can't, like, put it on and display it. This is definitely one of those things where it's like, if this is in the right price range, like, it almost fits around my waist. Like, I'm not going to say it couldn't possibly stretch and fit me, but if you're looking for, like, a, I assume, a very cheap battle belt, I'm not entirely sure how, like, that's the weirdest, like, this is apparently Velcro, and there's, like, no, like anything on it and then it just sticks to that like like this is really interesting but i've never seen one of these that is like velcro powered usually they're like molly and stuff like that so that's that's definitely different one of those things where if you see it and it's cheap enough this is probably do you this is a helmet it should fit me i'm going to find out let's do this uh open up thing one more time just uh oh it's so cool Oh, it's so cool. I'm going to take off my hat and undo this. And... Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that's... It doesn't spring open all the way. I can probably fix that. But, oh, okay. I have to show you what this thing's like on. This is the coolest thing ever. I don't like being shot in the face, like at all. And a face mask usually doesn't do me good enough. Do wish it has ear covers, but I recognize the shape of this helmet. I'll be able to get ear covers for it, no problem. And yeah, it does kind of fog up my glasses a little bit, but I mean, I'll worry about that later. It actually does cover my glasses. That's the most important thing. Like. A rival face mask kind of warps stuff in front of you because of the lens. This doesn't, because there's no lens in it, and even if it was, it's not like a $10 rival mask kind of lens. And it's extremely comfortable, and rather lightweight, and very protective. It's a little pricey, but it's like the single coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Like, no joke, this is just, 
I, I, I can't. I can't. This is cool. This is really freaking cool. This is my new everything. Because then I can just go to look at someone. I don't care who you are. This is awesome. Buy it. You need a helmet? You want a cool one? One you could probably just glue a bunch of stuff to and paint it and make it look awesome, which is why I've got the gray here instead of like the black or the white or anything like that. Yeah, I don't really dig the whole, like, cheek guard things, because, again, that looks kind of, like, clone trooper-ish, but I'm fat. I've got, like, a big, ugly face anyway. So, uh, having this thing on, this is just rad. I, that's the review. I, I'm blown away. Yeah, there's a belt thing, too. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that will fit somebody. It, it will fit basically anybody unless you're me. Um... It's cool. I, I, I don't know how much it is. If it's cheap enough, I would get it too. It is NF Strike branded. Good on them. This was sent to me for review from NF Strike. I didn't have to buy it, but it is kind of expensive. But this is the single coolest helmet like I've ever seen. Like I've been to a lot of wars, and a lot of people wear a lot of different masks and helmets and stuff like that. This is the coolest. I've never seen anything remotely as cool. I'm done. I'm going to trick the heck out of this helmet. I, 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 I want your ideas down in the comment section. Because this is cool. Like. Oh, it's so cool. It is. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to ramble. That, that's the review. This thing's awesome. I would totally buy one. It's not breaking. Everything feels pretty skookum. I'm, uh. I'm happy. I'm really happy. This is like what I wanted to buy, but it had like a different face mask. Kind of looked like a Mandalorian helmet. And then they sent me this one, and I wasn't expecting that feature at all. Like, this is so cool. This is a little difficult to click down. There we go. You'd have to actually kind of try. But, uh... I'm done. This has been Walcom. Uh... Thank you for watching this video. Buy this helmet. I'm blown away. I will update it if like it doesn't survive or something breaks or something jams, but uh, I'm pretty happy. Uh, that's the video. Bye. You gotta 